let's build the model so this is the finished product ios close open android close open we even get it to cover the status bar so i make content like this so if you are interested in content like this kindly like and subscribe i always provide a link to the code in the description let's try some code all right so this is what we'll be starting with we just have a view and then a button so to begin with we first import modal from react native so we have to import it to our so modal and then we bring it in here modal now we need the content so saving this this is what we have so you see it's been rendered but you wouldn't see anything you wouldn't see the content so let's give it a content style it as a content but before we do that we need to provide some properties to the model so first of all we need to set the visible you see my i'm using code ai and then it's by the way this video is not sponsored by code AI. anyway i would love for them to sponsor me so you set visible to true i can just tap but i wouldn't do that so visible is true and let's not focus on them and then come here and set transparent to true so when we make it transparent you are going to see the content behind it so we we'll come over here and then. now to start the content you need to give it a flex of one okay and then you know what let me just deactivate this code here for some time anyways let's let me just stop it it's going to waste my time all right so for the content you set flex to one justify content to center align item center normal things just to center it okay so we are still not seeing this so i'll just move this over here and then paste it over here to just make it come back to life and move it and put it back mostly you would have to refresh again for the model to kick so let's set the background to yeah let's do this okay yeah to give it this kind of um shadow now the contents let's give it let's um render the card which is going to contain our um what do you call our message or whatever the, the modal content has to be so you start this as a card Then come over here set give it some style so let me just code through this very fast and then we'll continue so this is what we have so far so what we'll be doing is adding the functionality to close and then open the model so we we'll use a state to handle that so so we set visible to open model so by default it's going to be false and then we come over here whenever this button is clicked you see at the moment it does nothing so we come here and then we set open model to true okay so now it's going to open the model we can't close it so we set it to false whenever it's being clicked we set i mean it's being pressed okay now it closes it so this ios let's check on android so android see but the animation is it has no animation which is in smooth so we give it some animation so animation type and then we use the i like the slide there's the fade option you can try that out but for now we'll be using the slide so we get this nice animation okay so now see on android you see 
this this status bar doesn't get covered so to do that we would have to provide this property status bar translucent and then set it to true and then does it voila we have our um so to be able to see what i'm talking about i'll turn this off and then provide status bar from from expose status bar okay and um style auto and now we should see what i'm talking about so you can see you see this um is white when we don't we are not using the status bar translucent so to fix that we just turn this on and that's it so yeah anyways thank you for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next one